Okay, about time to start off this day, and today is gonna be pretty interesting, I feel like. But first, my car is in the driveway, but my dad, his truck is in the way, although he went out of town. So I'm kind of stuck here, and I am not gonna go down this driveway at all because it ruins my car. I don't know if you could tell. It's a pretty bad driveway. I have to make it through there hopefully i don't know how this is gonna work i'm gonna have to do it I'm off the driveway and that really wasn't too bad. I thought this was gonna be too bumpy. I remember a tree stump somewhere here, but I guess it's not there anymore. <laughs> got back from my eye appointment. Ah, Just got back from my eye appointment. Got back from my eye appointment and now waiting for a package to show you guys what I got. And in the meantime, I might just be doing some maintenance on my jack. Let's see how many pumps it takes to pump it up. One. Oh, seven. I really don't think that's too bad. I have a feeling I need to bleed it anyway, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, <laughs> I honestly think it made it worse. I don't know. Oh. Okay, a little while later and we are back. I've been waiting so long. This is a package I've been anticipating ever since the tire incident. If you didn't hear about that, it's in the last couple of videos. I ordered something off Amazon that other people get from maybe like Drift Dialects or something. I got it at a cheaper price. Thanks to Marcus and Andrew for both of them having them and recommending it to me because the best way to convince me is for someone else that I know to basically say to get it. They obviously recommended it to me and I already know it's gonna blow my mind. The fact that I can know my tire pressure at all times, yeah, I think that'll save me multiple times. It could have saved me this one time. Let's just get to the unboxing. What I got is a tire pressure monitoring system by V-Safe. It was about 60 bucks shipped to your door. Look at this. Each of these are labeled and this goes in your cigarette lighter to power it up. These things can get seized up onto your valve stem so I'm putting anti-seize on it just for extra precaution. I thought this was pretty cool. It comes with this little nut that goes in before it so it locks it in place and there's no real way of stealing this thing unless you break it off. Last one is finally on. Let's see what this thing can do. This is the thing that I have to put in the cigarette lighter. Oh, pretty. I think one thing that is pretty cool is that this thing itself looks like the thing that is on my wheels, the little sensors. I could still plop this in and out just like that. Whoa. What is it doing? After fiddling around with it, I set my high pressure at 65 PSI and my lower one at 35 PSI. That's just so. If anything goes higher or lower than that, it'll alert me somehow. I'm pretty sure that beeping you guys heard. And the temperature, 75 degrees Celsius. I don't even know what that converts into. It'll send me an alarm. I think it's super cool how I could see my tire pressure. I've never had one of these and I am super happy with it. 
here's how they look on the wheel. It's not too flashy. It's black, no logos, just the label itself. And as you can see right here, you look at the wheel as a whole, it doesn't stand out too much. This one, there's bird poop. Uh, <laughs> dog poop on the floor. It looks good. It looks good. I actually was in need of valve stem caps. I was thinking of going with some O'Reilly ones that don't do anything, but these serve as a good function, a fail safe for me. One thing that really turned me off about these was that it's such a huge thing on the valve stem that I thought it would take away from the wheel, but I'd rather, I'd much rather have that and the peace of mind that this gives me than an ugly looking wheel. And it really doesn't look that ugly. Now that I think about it, I could deal with it. I'll go ahead and drive around for a little bit, break it in, and tell you guys how I like it. I'm really turning this thing into a perfect daily. Here's my PSI at the moment, driving. I'm pretty sure it's still cold as well, so. Yeah, it seems to be working phenomenally. Well. That was a quick and to the point video. Just something that I did to the car that's very simple to do, but has a huge impact on what information I know that I have with the car. Yeah, I mean, if you like what you see and you want one, I'll provide a link for you guys. You really don't have to use it, but it does support me. Like I said, I definitely recommend it. And in the next few videos, I'll let you know more details on having it because I'd have it for like a week or two. Oh, and one more thing. Do you guys like the shorter videos that I've been putting out? I've been liking them because it's short and straight to the point. I don't want to waste you guys' time, so I make use of it. That's about going to do for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.